Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can convert two set of curves uh, into a parametric tensile mesh. As you can see here, I can bake that and have that in Rhino. And easily we can change the movement from the first curve, the second curve, and uh, their length factor a strength which I'm going to explain the direction of the forces and a number of UV count which we can simply change here and get different results so let's get started and learn this step by step uh, okay before we start the tutorial let me explain how we can make this in Rhino and a little bit inside Grasshopper so you can get the point uh, assume that we have these two curves here in Rhino so what I want to do here is make a tween between these two curves and you can change the number here anyway after producing these eight points I'm going to move these two start and end curves a little bit up and down and if we connect these together like a straight section if I go here curve right click set multiple curve and select them as you can see here this is not parametric it's a little bit working in Grasshopper and Rhino both. So here if I go to Loft and uh, Loft option maybe straight this is going to be the NURBS output here that we're going to work with but because Grasshopper uh, for the relaxation needs a mesh output we have to convert that into a mesh. Uh, for the mesh what you can do here is to use a curve division assume we want to divide that into 12 maybe and uh, we're going to use the mesh utility mesh from points these points have to be in one group so I'm going to flatten here and here you can see that they are in 10 groups of 13 so I'm going to flatten this the U direction is 10 which you can also find by going to the set list length getting the list length of this it's going to be 10 and the number of V division is like this number but remember when you divide to 12 it's going to give you 13 so it's 1 plus that number so I'm going to say flatten give that to the V X plus one means just add another one and here you go you can have the mesh easily so that is the basic logic behind this because we're going to use that mesh in the kangaroo plugin uh, use this for the anchors and then relax the mesh okay so to fix this uh, I'm going to have to add some extra uh, components especially for the tween for example so let's just delete these and go here and bring them inside grasshopper set multiple curves or we can say set one curve this is the start this is the end and now we can go to curve spline and tween curves curve a and curve b the factor here is a number between 0 and 1 so you can see that it can be converted from here to here to have the twin curves we just have to make a range so I'm going to say set sequence and range give that range to the factor by default it's between 0 and 1 and the steps is going to say the number of curves you want here okay so this is going to be the number of u divisions when I put it to 2 you can see we have three outputs so remember that okay so this is going to go to the u division and here we have to say x plus 1 now we have the curves we just give that here if we work with that you can see it's like making a mesh between two curves but because we want to uh, move them a little bit up we have to do some work here 
and that is bringing those two curves up uh, I'm going to move these two curves up say move this is the first curve we can give it a Z direction and a number slider between 0 and maybe a hundred this is going to move this up and down so let's name that Z1 and we can also move this one up so this is the second curve and now what I want to do here uh, is simply replace these for the curves we have in the tween uh, set list replace items we want to replace the curves here in the tween uh, this is the first curve so I'm going to say replace this item in the index 0 and you can see that this is going to be replaced by this curve so if I give this to here you can see that we have fixed the first part okay now for the second curve we can say again a replace item this time I'm going to replace this one and the index we want to replace is obviously at the last one so what I want to do here is reverse the list so this one is going to be replaced at the last one and then reverse it again if you want to make it from 0 to 1 and now we can give that to the curve and here you go so you can see how easy it is by replacing these I can change the number of divisions the movement of the second one the first one and we will have the mesh this is the division we want in the V direction okay so from now on let's just delete these uh, we can use this algorithm and this mesh for the kangaroo plugin uh, for the kangaroo plugin what I want to do here is just use a solver uh, you can use different solvers here but you can use a bouncy solver you can use the zombie solver if you want really the output really fast but let's go with the bouncy solver it's really cool uh, I'm going to use first of all for the goals object I'm going to use a merge so I can merge different outputs into one goal object okay and we have to flatten here so everything just merged into one uh, I usually use the show goal which is the main goal I always use for the mesh I want to show so I just give that to the D1 okay the second goal is goals mesh edge length so I'm going to give that to here and give it to the second goal uh, the length factor can be a zero between zero and one uh, zero means that they can deform until it reaches a zero so it's a length uh, multiplier okay and if I put it to one zero you can see something happening here but anyway for the bouncy solver you can use a button to always reset the simulation okay anyway uh, we have the edge length but we need also some anchors so I'm going to use the mesh naked vertices naked vertices of the mesh is going to be these points so we're going to fix those points and let's go to the kangaroo plugin goals point anchor and use that as the third goal now we can just turn off everything and go here at the output the first one is the mesh I usually use the list item 0 to pick it up okay you can see it's relaxing if I change this this is going to update movement for the first curve movement for the second curve the number of divisions we have here the number of divisions we have in this direction it's really cool you can just make this uh, mesh as an output and if you put it to zero it's going to be like this if you put it to one it's going to go back to the ground so zero is okay now what I want to do is to at the end just add some weight to it so we can go to goals mesh 
vertex load and use that as the last goal. Uh, this is the minus is going to be in the minus C direction and the plus is going to go up. So we can say, for example, minus 10 to 10 with two decimals. And now just play around with this number. And anyway, at the end, we can also add a toggle, TOG, to the run. This is the run. And this is the reset. If I put it to true and run it, you can see that it's going to give you a result. If you want to, you can pause at any time by just putting this to false. It's going to stop and then true to run it again. Okay. Now we can just bake this as the final mesh. And here you go. You can see that this is going to be the final result. So remember that you can download these uh, example files all from our website, parametrichouse.com. And remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments uh, if any additional uh, examples you need so we can record the tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.